Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna give you an update on what is going on at Twitter besides it being absolutely hilarious. Uh, Twitter is a lot of fun these days, isn't it? Elon Musk uh, definitely trolling his users, uh, trolling his audience, and it seems like the harder they go at him, the harder he fights back, and yet they don't leave. A lot of them don't leave. We're gonna talk about some celebrities who did leave, but really, there isn't a better alternative to Twitter right now that's immediately available and actually viable that people are actually using. So we're going to talk about where he's at with it. And apparently, there are not going to be any more layoffs. Uh, he's done for now. And apparently, he's not going to move Twitter to Texas. Now, it's interesting. The New York Times uh, put this article up uh, earlier today. It said he's basically just doing to Twitter what he did to Tesla and SpaceX and they made them profitable, right? Um, so we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 281,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, greatly appreciated. Follow us on Twitter. Geeky and I are both on Twitter, as is clownfishtv.com, uh, which would be the website and the videos. If you're looking for updates, go there. Musk really whacking the beehive over on Twitter. I mean, this is not what you would expect from the world's richest man and the CEO of multiple uh, successful companies. But uh, yeah, lead us not into temptation. He gave Donald Trump his Twitter back and it's only a matter of time until he taps Twitter, right? We all know he's gonna tap Twitter real good because he can't help himself. Donald Trump can't stop his, his wandering thumbs from firing off tweets. I mean, that's just, very much uh, part of his personality, but people are very, very pissed about this. Um, <laughs> uh, Jordan Peterson, who is also back. Now, he said he's not bringing Alex Jones back. Uh, he's not bringing Alex Jones back because of the situation with the school shooting. Um, you know, and he's just like, yeah, I can't let somebody like that back on the platform uh, because of that blatant misinformation. So people that were hoping for that, I don't think you're going to get that anytime soon. But uh uh, Donald Trump, yes, it's a matter of time until he decides he's going to tap that that bird. But let's talk about this, right? Uh, the New York Times said Musk is doing to Twitter what he already did to Tesla and SpaceX, firing people, talking of bankruptcy, telling workers to be hardcore. Musk has repeatedly used those tactics at many of his companies. He's basically like, you will work or you will get fired. And I hate to be that guy, but unfortunately, Sometimes that's the only thing that motivates workers, especially when you're dealing with workers that were as coddled as many of the workers at Twitter were. We've seen it. Multiple instances of Twitter workers uh, showing their quote unquote work day, uh, insiders talking to Project Veritas about how nobody actually works at Twitter. It's basically an adult daycare. And Musk is putting an end to it because he's got a business to run a business. Back in 2018 at Tesla, he was sleeping in his office. He dismissed employees and executives at will, and he lamented his company was on the verge of bankruptcy. There were times when I didn't leave the factory for three or four days, days when I didn't get to go outside. The billionaire's experience with what he called Tesla's production hell has become a blueprint for the crisis he created at Twitter. Uh, so over the years, Mr. Musk has developed a playbook for managing his companies, including Tesla and SpaceX, through a period of pain, employing uh, shock treatment and alarmism and pushing his workers and himself to put aside their families and friends to spend all their energy on his mission. That's, I don't agree with that. I, in this case with, with Twitter, he simply wants them to show up to work. Uh, since late last month, the 51 year old has laid off 50% of Twitter's employees and, and nothing has changed really, except the resignations of 1200 or more on Monday, he began another round of layoffs. Two people said he tweeted that he was sleeping at the Twitter offices in San Francisco. Uh, he's applied mission-driven language, telling Twitter's workers that the company could go bankrupt if he wasn't able to turn it around. Those who want to work on Twitter 2.0 must commit to his hardcore vision and writing, he has said. Uh, David Deke, who worked at Tesla from 2014 to 2016 as a senior engineering manager, uh, said Mr. Musk clearly thrives in existential circumstances. He quasi creates them to light the fire under everybody. I have had bosses like this. I actually have had bosses like this where they're like, you know, it wasn't just like, hey, we're going to be me. It was like, oh, my God, the sales are down. You better freaking perform or we're all going to be out of work. You know, you got to do it. And especially people that are self-employed. Uh, there was one company I worked for, uh, this German guy. 
I know, I know what our detractors are thinking, but no, he was actually a German banker who bought several print shops and I had worked for him and he was all like doom and gloom. Like if we don't get everything working, it's going to, everything's going to go to hell and we're all going to lose everything and you're not going to have a job and I'm not going to have a house and I'm not going to, you know, he, he was always like, everything was terrible. And that was a really bad, that was a really bad accent. I, I, anyway, uh, other than that, he was nice. His wife was nice. She baked cookies. She was okay. Anyway, <laughs> they said that he can't find the means to motivate employees at a social media company as he did with workers whose quest were to move people away from gas-powered cars or send humans into space. This is basically like, can we, can we take Twitter and not make it suck as much? Um, so yeah, the stakes aren't very high with Twitter. I mean, he's got to find another way to motivate them uh, other than, hey, you're going to lose your job. But I think the economy might be a good motivator for a lot of people because especially in Silicon Valley, they're laying a lot of people off. And it might be like, if you want to work in tech, you might want to watch what you say because not a lot of people are hiring right now. And uh, I don't think Starbucks needs you either. You can't have 50 baristas for every coffee drinker. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Um, so Insider says Musk tells remaining Twitter employees no more layoffs planned and Twitter HQ will not move to Texas. I thought they were going to move it to Texas for sure. So here's some good news. Uh, he had an all hands meeting on Monday in San Francisco. According to two people present, were they the only two left? It's Musk's second such meeting since last week. He told workers that bankruptcy was not out of the question. Uh, Musk said during the meeting that no more layoffs are planned to happen. It's the first time Musk has said uh, waves of cuts to the company's headcount are over since he took control at the end of October. Twitter's headcount of full-time employees prior to Musk's ownership was 7,500 people. Now it's down to 2,300 people, which is pretty much what he said he was going to pare it down to like, what, what was it? Two thirds or three quarters of the staff they're going to let go. And that's, that's about right. According to a person familiar with the company's operations after mass layoff and a mass resignation, he knew this was going to happen. I'm sure the official headcount number could continue to change. However, as resignations continue to be accounted for internally, another person familiar with the company said, yeah, cause there's probably a lot of people that haven't been to the office in like three years. And they're like, does Joe still work here? I don't know. He hasn't been to the office. We've just been sending him a check every week. I don't know what Joe is doing. <laughs> One employee who made it through Musk's layoffs and the spate of firings of perceived critics said Musk's comments were met with some relief. The meeting came after most employees worked through the weekend for Musk, who posted to Twitter uh, pictures of an early Saturday morning code review. Now, Twitter may even start hiring again. Musk said during the meeting he's looking to bring in more engineers, according to one of the people present. Layoffs and resignations have deeply impacted Twitter's engineering ranks. A um, lot of people are ass mad. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? Uh, celebrities are leaving. They'll be back. They will be back. Uh, here's a growing list of celebrities who have left. Whoopi Goldberg, Shonda Rhimes, Gigi Hadid, Tony Braxton. Oh, my God, Tony Braxton. Who else do we got? Jack White. Trent Reznor because of Trump. Eric Larson, wait, Eric Larson, comic book artist Eric Larson makes Rolling Stone for quitting Twitter. How the hell does Eric Larson make Rolling Stone magazine for quitting Twitter? That's like the most, like they were really scraping. They're trying to like, look, nothing against Eric Larson, right? He's been threatening to leave Twitter forever. But have we really gotten to a place where it's like, oh my God, guys, we've got this list of like all these tens of thousands of, of celebrities that left Twitter. Oh no, they haven't. They haven't left Twitter. Oh, who, who else we got? Oh, a comic book guy. What's his name? Eric Larson. What's it? What's he do? Image Comics. Yeah, I'm vaguely familiar with that. Oh, we did Spider-Man like 30 years ago. Okay. Yeah, we'll throw him in this article too. It's like, come on, Tia Leone. Wow. This is really like the who's who of Hollywood right here. That's leaving, right? Um, I don't know, guys. I think it's, it's kind of hilarious. I think Twitter is honestly going to be fine. It's going to be different. I keep telling people. He didn't buy Twitter to keep Twitter as is. He bought Twitter because it had uh, good bones. If you've seen that show, uh, my wife watches it, um, where they go find a dump of a house, but it's like, look, the frame is good. The neighborhood is good. There's potential here. You know, the layout of the house is good. We're just gonna destroy everything and start over again. And that's basically what he's gonna do. Like Twitter's got a good infrastructure. 
right? Um, we've started uh, something good, but we have to actually, you know, commit to it and change this thing for the better and uh, compete with other social media platforms because Twitter has been mostly for journalists and Hollywood and weirdos for the last five to eight years now. So hopefully he can turn it into something that normies use that's worth using for the average person. We'll see what happens. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.